Uh, Chair, Chairman Connolly, Ranking Member Heiss, and members of the subcommittee, thank you for holding this important hearing on FATARA. The FATARA scorecard plays a very important role in providing insight into the progress agencies are making to enhance their cybersecurity. Um, I will keep my remarks briefer than I would have, but I, there are a few things. Yes, Mr. Like. DeRoche, you will. <laughs> sir. Uh, just really quick, though, sir, the, the reality faced in day one of this administration was we were weeks into one of the most significant events that our nation's faced in solar winds. And we realized that the status quo approach to cybersecurity had failed us. And so we issued Executive Order 14028 to take some bold transformational actions there. Just a quick outline of that plan, and, and then I'll conclude my remarks. You know, our, our transformation plan includes making our systems more defensible by employing zero trust principles, meaning we've got to move so that trust is never implicitly granted and must be continuously evaluated. Across the federal government, we are replacing ineffective deterrents like passwords with multi-factor authentication and encryption. We're also leveraging the same methods used by our adversaries to continuously identify risks to federal systems uh, to, and, and leverage uh, threat intelligence so that we can prioritize remediation of those risks. And finally, we're working to infuse secure design practices across new technology throughout the supply chain. Um, just summarizing, much like that paradigm shift that we're working on uh, in securing our networks, we've also begun to evolve how we measure success. Uh, so for FY22, OMB and CISA have established a new baseline on FISMA metrics, many of which were selected around components of the EO. And these data have been used to measure trends and work with agencies to identify areas where additional attention and resources are needed. So I look forward today to discussing that and what we've released in performance.gov, and I'll also look forward to the opportunity to testify today and, and take your questions.